Hello everyone. In the previous session, I had walked you through the steps of uh, providing the user enough rights to access the Fury Launchpad. Uh, so basically what we did was we copied this role, SAP UI2 user 700. We made a copy of this. We assigned it to the user. In addition to that, we also gave the user rights to interop and page builder purse uh, in IWSG. So once we gave that, uh, the user was able to access the Fury Launchpad. Uh, so we'll in this session, we'll expand on that and we'll see how we can access the tiles and so on. Uh, so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the Fury Apps Library and I'm going to take this uh, track sales order. So this is a Fiori uh, application and I'm going to access this. Uh, so in this session we'll just talk about accessing the tile. Um, so I go into the implementation information and then I go into configuration. So once this comes up, so I go into the configuration and I see that there are a whole bunch of OData services for this application. And the, the thing that I'm interested in here is this business role. So once I assign this business role to the user, uh, he should see the app. Uh, but he may not be able to access it, but he should be able to see the app. So let me copy this role and then I'll go to my front end server. So this is my front end server. And what I'll do is I'll go SU01. And the user we used was demo2. So let me edit this user. And in the roles, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and provide this business role. And I will save this. So let's see what happens uh, to this user when he tries to access the Fury Launchpad. Uh, so I go to the Fury Launchpad. And I'm logged in as demo2 here. Uh, so let me refresh the screen and see what happens. Uh, so when I refresh the screen, uh, I see a whole bunch of error messages and I don't see any tiles. So in this session, I'll talk about how we can see the tiles. And if I look at the error messages, uh, it all talks about some chip that I don't have access to load the style missing module chip. So we need a couple of uh, authorizations. Um, so we need authorizations to SPB chip and UI2 chip uh, so that the user can see the tiles and manage the tiles. So let's go ahead and add that. Uh, so let me go into PFCG. And we'll go ahead and use the same role that we were using before. Uh, so I'm going to edit this role. So click Edit. And then in the authorizations, uh, here is where I want to add these uh, chip authorizations. So let me click on Authorizations. And let me go down to Change Authorization Data. Say OK to this. And here, manually, I'm going to add these two chips. Uh, so S underscore PB chip. And I'm also going to add slash UI2 chip. So let me go ahead and add these two chips. And we also need to give uh, some rights to this. So what I'll do is uh, I will edit this and I will give full authorization. So let me do that for the activate as well. And also on this uh, PB chip, I will give full authorization. And let me generate the authorizations. OK, so now that I've generated, let me exit and save. So now this user 
has authorizations to those uh, two chips. So let me go ahead and see what happens now. Uh, so at, in this session, all I'm interested is in seeing if I can see the tiles. So let me refresh the screen again. Okay, so we see the tiles, which is good. Uh, we also have some uh, error messages in the console log. Uh, those are because we don't have access to the OData services, uh, but our goal was to see the tiles in this session. So, so we have accomplished that, and there is our track sales orders. In the next session, I will show you the steps involved in granting the user rights to access this track sales orders application. That's all for now. Thanks.